Hey everybody, welcome back, I'm Izzy, and today we've got a really fun project for you, especially if you're a woodworker and you happen to do some gardening like I do. I love to garden. One of the best fertilizers for gardening is worm poop. It's pH neutral, it doesn't stink, and it is amazing for plants. So today we're gonna to talk about how you can save a ton of money making your own worm poop. A scoop of poop for you. Scoop of poop for you. Scoop of poop for you and you. So every month or so, I like to fertilize my plants with about three quarter to a cup of worm castings. Now that can get expensive. A bag like this that weighs 40 pounds costs about 40 bucks. So I'm gonna show you today how you can build your own worm farm that can produce about this much of poop every month after about three months of cultivating and save you a ton of money. It's such a nice day today, we're gonna to work outside. We don't need a lot of tools for this. Mostly I'm gonna be using a circular saw and a drill. Now to start off with, I'm using three two by fours to create three boxes that are 24 inches long and 20 inches deep. And I said two by fours, it's two by sixes. Just a quick little pro tip for you. I'm using my speed square as a guide for the circular saw. Now, I wanna know where that blade's gonna come. So what I did is I drilled a couple holes in my speed square, added a nice straight piece of scrap material, and then ran my saw past it. So if my bed of the saw is up against the speed square, this is exactly where it's gonna cut through the material. That way I don't have to do any guesswork and I can just lay everything out and mark that right to my pencil lines and go. So now I'm gonna make a boxes out of all these pieces and I need them to be pretty square. So to do that, I've taken one of my scrap pieces and I've cut it nice and square so I can use that as a guide as I'm screwing all these pieces together. Now in this case, I'm using exterior Power Pro screws, uh, two and a halves, super nice. I don't have to worry about tapping anything or pre-drilling and they won't split the material. So now we're gonna cover the bottoms and to do that, we're using half inch hardware cloth. Now this hardware cloth happens to have a plastic coating on it. You can pick this up at uh, Tractor Supply or most places, most hardware places will have this. To install, you could just use some of the, the hand staples that you can get from the hardware store. You can nail them in. I don't have any, so I'm gonna use my nail gun for this. So we need a way to keep these boxes lined up with each other and to do that we're going to use handles but in this case we're going to use worm handles so we uh, couldn't resist cnc these out and now we're going to use these on here at the top of each box to hold the next box in place and they also work as a handle when we need to change them out and to do that i'm using i'm going to fasten these in with some power pro exterior trim screws So the next thing we need to do is build a top and a base for our worm farm. Now I'm gonna do that out of two two by eights for each worm farm. We're actually building two worm farms, one for me and one for Brad the camera guy, because Brad wants a worm farm too. 
Now, because I need these to be pretty square, I need them to be just slightly larger than the boxes themselves. The base, I need it to be slightly larger than the boxes themselves. I'm going to make sure I square up the end of my 2x8. So when you get 2x8s from the, from the big box store or wherever you get them from, they're not square. So you need to square those up and then cut them to your lengths. In this case, because our boxes are 24 inches, I'm going to go 24 and a quarter, and then I'm going to go just over 20 inches deep. Now one of the things I'm doing, because I'm measuring from this side, I'm taking into account the width of the saw blade. So I know if I want that to be 24 and a quarter, I need to add a little bit of a measurement for the width of the saw blade. Now three two by eights is gonna be wider than my 20 inch base. Now I want my base to be 20 and a quarter inches wide. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a mark there. And then I'm gonna need to cut off that access. I said access, I meant excess. <laughs> you can use a table saw or get fancy pants and use a straight edge, but this is a worm bed. So I'm just gonna do my best job to stay as straight as I can on the line. I'm gonna put my sh short piece in the center. It doesn't really matter, but that's where I'm gonna put it. So I wanna connect all these boards so they'll be nice, so they'll be solid to each other. And I am gonna put legs on here and an apron. Now that's completely up to you. You don't have to put this up on a stand, but I wanna be able to get underneath it to get to the worm tee, and I'll show you what that means here in a minute. So to give myself a starting point here, I'm gonna go ahead and run some pocket holes in. I'm using a half inch spade bit. I'm gonna start about an inch and a half to an inch and a quarter back. Start it straight down and then tilt it back at a severe angle. And I only need a couple of these in, in here. Next I'm gonna use some inch and a half power scroll, pro screws. Make sure everything's lined up nice and flush and just tighten them together. So the base is solid here, and now I want a couple of places where water and stuff can drain through all the boxes and all the worm poop and all the gunk and create what's called worm tea. Now worm tea is really good, again, because it doesn't have that smell to it, and it's pH neutral, and it's just really good for plants as an organic fertilizer. So I wanna save that. That's why I'm gonna put a base under here, but I need to have a couple spots where it can drain out. So to protect this, because it is wood, I'm gonna put plastic on here, and then I'm gonna put a screen over a couple of holes that I'm about to drill uh, to give it a nice spot for that moisture just to come out. So before I finish the base, I'm gonna cut up the pieces I need out of the next two by eight for the top so I can use the scrap material for the legs on my worm farm. All right, so with my top made, this is what I have left out or left over out of the two two by eights. So with this, I wanna create legs for each corner and two braces that go along the bottom to help support it and then some stop blocks on each side to keep the worm beds in there. So now I'm gonna have to do a little bit of math. I wanted this to be, you know, at least 12 inches off the ground. I'm not sure I can get that. Let's see what we got. All right, so off camera, I added two layers of screen to the bottom of that hole, that hole that was in the top. I want air to be able to get through here, and I do want rain and moisture to get into this, so, but I don't want birds and other insects in there. To start our worm farm, we're gonna go down to the bottom layer, and we're gonna put 
horse manure or horse compost or in this case just a good garden soil because I don't have horse manure. I want to put a nice layer of that down. I'm going to throw in some ripped up paper. Uh, as long as it's not glossy paper or colored print, you can use like a newspaper and the worms will eat that. That'll get them started. Now I've had my worms in a little extra soil because I, had, I couldn't get to the worm farm as quick as I wanted to. So now I'm just going to go dig through and add the rest of the worms on top of that. I'm starting with 2,000 worms, or in this case 2,200 worms. In three months they will be well over 10,000. Each worm can produce two to three cocoons a week and each cocoon will have 20, 15 to 20 eggs in it. So you do the math if you're starting with 2,000 worms. Another thing I want to do is add some vegetation. In this case, I'm just using some leaf lettuce here that came off from the kitchen scraps. And then about every two weeks to a month, I'll come out and add another layer of kitchen scrap, like leaf, leaf lettuce, no citrus, nothing spicy, no meats basically leafy greens and then after I add a layer of leafy greens I'll add another layer of soil so then after I get all that I'm gonna put another layer of soil doesn't just not very thick just an inch or so thick and I want to kind of try and fill up that first box. Now, the objective is going to be every month to put enough organic, comp organic material and soil to fill up the next box. And then the third month, I'll fill up this last one. And all the worms will have eaten all the organic material and come up to this top bend. So when I pull the top two off, the bottom one will be all worm poop. So every month I'll rotate one box, I'll have 40 to 50 pounds of worm poop and I'll probably be able to harvest anywhere from five to 10,000 worms from the, uh, the top layer as well to start another worm farm to put in my garden or to use for fishing. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. I know this is way out of the norm of what I normally do, but I hope you found some valuable information in this video. And you know, feeding your plants organically like this, just a great way to go. And worm farms are fun and you can use them for fishing. So there's like three good reasons to have a worm farm. Now, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, I don't normally put this stuff on YouTube, but I will do updates on the worm farm over on my Instagram channel throughout the next you know, few months as you guys can see it working. And I also post some stuff about my garden over there if you're interested in that at all. So I'll put a link to my Instagram channel down in the, uh, the dinks bumps below and we'll be talking to y'all soon. Oh, hey, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Lots more fun coming down the pipe.